I caught the entire world of Spain, which resulted in a 29 hour game that took until 2041 and required us to completely leave Europe and abandon Iberia in order to even stand a chance. I should not do this at all. Why do I play in Spain? I've been editing for 10 hours today on a Sunday. I guess we're just gonna go for infantry equipment. Oh, but we have a llama. Nice. That's actually useful. I haven't played Spain in such a long time. I have no idea. I just know that it's annoying to play Spain because the civil war is bullshit. Um, I'm gonna take the 10 divisions, methinks. Government power struggle. Right, now we have to spend PP. I think we can just click concessions to the left the entire time. And then we'll also have to pick a few of those influence things. We can't do this anymore, but we can do political arrest. Very nice. Gives us more PP and stability. Oh god, we lost all of Spain. I guess I'm gonna try and keep the north. And I'm just gonna challenge the less expensive ones. Let's also try and take this one. Pretty good spread on Honestly, Regional Defense Council of Aragon. Yes, definitely. Appropriate the means of production. Arm the people. Give them arms. Else they won't be able to eat spaghetti. The Offensive Military Council, which is masters of our own fate. Okay, that's down here. I'm gonna wait for the army guy then. Would rather have the offensive guy and then we can get the workhorse as well as... War Econ. We're just gonna need like 5 billion fronts now. And we're gonna play on 2 speed because of the Spanish Civil War. Everyone here. Then you lot can go here. I'm gonna send like you here and you lot here. And we don't have planes. I oh my god, I should have sold planes. I should have sold our stockpiles. As for these guys, they just try and snipe some provinces. You lot go here. Uh, actually, you, you wait. You don't have any backup, so don't want him to get in circles okay, you pin we go down to four speed and then we just slowly clean up the pockets here there we go the front lines have entrenched oh one ships has been transferred finally the soviets are here that also means that germans and italians should arrive any moment now and i really don't like that we don't have divisions up here i actually just keep on pushing here it's not really a push but you know they are taking tiles there's the italians and the germans where's Okay, we're getting some divisions over here. We've cleaned up Valencia. Really wouldn't mind it if the Soviets actually pushed here. I guess Western Aragon is my next offensive. Although, if we can take this, that would just cut off the entire offensive here. Cool thing is, we won't have to worry about stability because we are gonna be anarchists. So I guess I can do this already. Okay, pin with these. Uh, we have gotten here here i don't have orc but i man i would like to push with these guys okay i'm gonna send these as help oh god this front is actually collapsing that's just the portuguese the italians the germans they're all hitting us okay nice we have broken through ho, ho, that's a lot of land though oh but that sucks so ha, 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 ha. the nationalists are gonna link their front up again man the infantry genius though don't tell me i can't draw a front line Okay, wait, I unpaused. Maybe I can do it now. Why can I not link the front lines? Especially here. So bad, man. I can't pin with anyone, so I'll just have to pick and pray. Okay, we made it. Nice. These divisions up here are still a distraction, so I am fine with them still being there. Please, guys. This is just a snaking war. Like, there's no strategy. It's just snaking, which I guess is a pretty decent representation. I swear to fuck. This guy's still alive. Can use an offensive here. I think I'm just gonna use one here. We can push into this tile, this tile, this tile. Should be able to take these two. Nice, we finally took this one. Council of Theorists! Yo! Anarchist Spain! If it wasn't a Spanish Civil War, I would play this nation so much. It sounds so fun. Next offensive into Madrid, I think. Sounds pretty cool. And they're not looking too fresh in terms of strength. I'm just gonna see if we can collapse a little bit here. Yeah, there's an offensive going on here right now. Guys! That guy can push into Toledo. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god! Yes! I'm a master general. That just opened up so many units. I assume we only need to take this time. Okay, nice. Carlos Spain is also gone. That is super good. Especially because it flipped to us. Now these guys are supplied again. I'm gonna send one division back here just for defensive purposes. These guys are just gonna cap land. 
since they're already here anyway. The rest I'm just gonna send on an offensive for some pinning maneuvers. We are gonna cancel this arrow. I'm gonna draw a new arrow. I think we can actually just auto. This is probably the most fun that I'll have as Spain. Knowing that I won the Civil War and now just waiting for all of this to finish. The anarchists have won. Hooray! I'm gonna do Portuguese anarchism now. They have fought us, but they are gonna join us now. And I'm just gonna preemptively shit. I'm gonna preemptively shit, yes. Hire a few field commanders. Also, why am I banning parties? Party pop doesn't matter because party pop increases stability and we don't have stability. There we go, Portugal. I think that's what they call karma. I don't like it, but I guess I'm already gonna make some interwar tanks for resistance suppression. We are coring Portugal before we call our own states. That's kind of scuffed. Can we justify? Oh, Gibraltar, 15 days. I guess we are gonna see if we can land in Cardiff. We do have the Portuguese Navy, you know, so we are very strong, definitely. Turkey, fuck off. I want Iberia not supporting your cringe government. You probably have elections. The strategy doesn't work. I guess we're gonna wait for better weather. Honestly, if they wanna take anything, I will let them. Because we need war score. Although it looks like they ran. Did we get points for that? Land combat damage, yes. Oh god, we're going in. Oh god, we're going in. Oh god, we're going in. All right, cheat attack. If this doesn't work, then it's because of Cardiff. I'm not used to attacking from this angle. We're gonna delete this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna draw arrow. We are gonna get the kissy guy. I'm gonna send you to London. You can smooch Churchill for me. Imagine this works out. Yes! Okay, I'm just gonna let the AI deal with the fronts for a little bit here. Just auto it. Because I don't want to micro too much here. I've already gone through the Spanish Civil War, man. Look at this! Man, compared to the time I had to go through this with Greece, this is so chill. It's crazy what actually having units does. Okay, wait a minute. I have to be careful here now. I'll take this, I think, from Canada. I'll take this. I think I'm fine with Malaya. We can take a little bit from India for manpower. All right. 23 states, not that amazing, but it's honestly enough because we have London, we have the industry from here, we have a landing for, oh, there's actually also a lot of industry here. Resources from here with a lot of compliance already, and <laughs> we have no <laughs> At this point, we're no longer a regional defense council. I guess we are defending multiple regions now. That's one thing that we're still missing, yes, oil. But I do know a place that has oil. And I do know that this place also is not very well protected, at least early in the game. Wait, 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 wait. We can't prepare collaboration governments? Don't say- no, 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 no. Ugh. Saudi Arabia tried to comment on. And we should be able to call 50% compliance now. Okay. Don't have anything to do today. Sleeping. That's something I have to do today. Man, I don't want to click that. Oh, that's so much PP, man. But it is Burma. I'm gonna click it, yeah. There we go, immediately attack. Which is unusual for me, but today I have everything. I just need time. Don't make me get the planning bonuses. There we go. I guess it's time to call Burma. Goodbye, PP. The Americans, they are doing the thing. The thing that I don't like. Finally, they're here, but that was not a second too late. Could have been a second sooner, though. Ah, that's just outnumbered. Plus, outoiled. Let's see if we can fix that. Let's support the Soviets a little bit. Yep, they do need it. Is that cheaper because it's a neighboring province now? No! Ah, without warning! No! Japanese global anarchist war. But this is gonna be so bad. Like, this is our rubber support. Apply. You can still import it from the Germans, so not all is lost. Before this becomes a recurring thing, I'm just gonna take three guys. You can go here, the rest will go to the front. Uh, okay, Japan has started a war with every major, except for the Soviets. What did you lot do? Oh no, wait, that was not the AI. That was because I caught this. It flipped to us again. Yo, Anarchist Spain is busted for this alone. That was a free encirclement. Just cost me 240 pp, as well as preparation. This one coring decision is messed up the front so badly, man. I would be pissed. We actually have green air now. Yeah, the Americans are down to 1,000 planes. Just need more men on the front line right now. Oh god, this Germany is gonna be so strong. I guess we're not gonna be able to integrate Vichyn anytime soon, unless we can help out the Soviets. What? 
are you doing? <laughs> Why are you penetrating so hard here? Ooh, uh, we might also be able to take New York. It's a very might because these guys don't have... Actually, wait a minute. We do have air superiority everywhere and the Americans don't have planes anymore. So I'm fine with putting you on truck truck supply. I'm also fine with just making an offensive. I'm just gonna press offensive then. Let the AI handle this a little bit. I sure wish I had collaboration governments right about now. After losing 100% war support, we are at 92. How expensive was this push? Actually not that bad, considering it's a pure infantry push. Next push is down here. I'm gonna auto Florida. Denmark is ambitious to say that- ah! Germany, what are you doing? How close are the Soviets to capping? That doesn't look like 89%. That sounds about right. We do need better flame tanks for this one. So let me just fix that as well then. All right, America, down to 50 to 100 divisions. <laughs> that is certainly a ray. Ah, the Soviets are gone. Please roll over. I have to free Europe. Yes. Ah, oh, nice. That's okay. They have built a lot of roads. Not as many as I would like but a few. Squish the Mexicans. There we go. Mexico is gone. We did get 7% war score. One thing I don't like is that Germany controls British Honduras. So we are gonna have to garrison units down here. I'm just gonna do this preemptively. We are gonna need more than just 117 divisions. We have to hold the entire Canadian border. We have to hold the mainland border. And we have to garrison against naval invasions. Saying that this is gonna suck is an anti-exaggeration. What's the other word for it? An underration. That's pretty good though we got half of mexico and we got one island over here we need chromium alaska yeah i would have forgotten about alaska as well look at the coalition swarming in but it's not gonna be enough you lot also train i want one stack on this front oh this is so ass because we need one here, we need one here, we need one here, and we need another front here. The Americans never called Alaska. I guess we're not going to be able to call Alaska then. I could go back and let the Americans call Alaska and wait until they do. Yeah, let's just do this, guys. There we go. Look at that. Just with the power of editing. I didn't even have to show you uh, how we went back and defeated the Americans again. Is it worth it to defend England as well? No, I I don't think it is, man. Let's give it up. These are all getting convoy rated unless we split up our navy, which I guess we can do. We do have enough ships. No, I don't want to defend Singapore. But if we don't, once we go to war, we will not have access to rubber anymore. Unless I do a Thunderdome here. Ah, we have to, man. Okay, you all go here. Eight on here, eight on here, and the rest. 42, that's more than enough. Well, let's pump out a little bit more on planes, on fighters, because I assume that this Germany has a little bit stockpiled. Not a single plane will fly over Iberia. Yes, yes. So many calls that we're getting. I'm gonna see if 6,000 fighters is enough. Our tank general is cautious. China is just starting wars with everyone. Can you imagine that? I guess you are gonna be that cringe, huh? <laughs> 100 to 1 let's go considering the rest of the world looks like this this is gonna take a while oh god our convoys god our war support though yeah it's just the convoys being raided i don't feel like contesting this this is so much that we would have to contest this is definitely something i did because it would make for a fun challenge and not because i'm a moron if for whatever reason you do this at home just subscribe I mean, put up naval bombers and nuke the German submarines away. <laughs> All that will serve. And the Swiss, yes, they're gonna grind the axis down as well, definitely. They stopped pushing because of the Switzerland war. <laughs> sure. If you can come over here, you will get mill axis, yes. Italian India joins the... It sucks that we have to actually use convoys for this. For one, we have cores here, and secondly, the majority of our industry is in the Americas anyway. Like, why do we need to convoy our guns over here? They're being manufactured in this place anyway. They are just outproducing us in terms of planes. Wait, <laughs> how are we taking out planes? There's no plane here. I am also gonna restrict access to some of these zones. There we go. Let's just build a corridor. A corridor that we can defend. <laughs> 
Hopefully. Okay, so the biggest problem will be we will run out of convoys in a minute. And when we run out of convoys, we won't have resources anymore. So I am tempted to just get some French resources. I mean, we can develop for eight steel. Conserve to quick improv. And then once we have the planning, they can attack and they should be able to push a little bit. If they don't, then we're in trouble. They are breaking through. Wait a minute. Because the supply is so bad, I'm gonna see if we can push from here with the crack unit. I didn't name that crack unit. I'm sure. Martinez, have you finally figured out a name for your divisions? No, no. We're still having... Actually... I just had a great idea. Just don't look at America. Just don't look at America, then everything will be fine. 8 million Germans and they're still sitting at 1 million manpower. They did that 5 million manpower ago. Okay, into Warlord airframe. It is time. Before it is too late. Actually, I guess we did have strat bombers. Didn't even have to trade some. There we go. Let's get these out. Now we just need air superiority. Okay. There we go. 79%. That's enough to send some nukes in here. Sorry, Andorra. Some sacrifices have to be made. The Italians are out of planes. Still the Germans. That's gonna take a while until we get them down as well. Oh, yes. We're pushing out. And uh, this encirclement is also successful. Just have to clean it up before supply problems come up. The problem is, like, now we are on a timer. If our fighters run out, we're not getting any new ones. Well, I guess we're getting two a day, which is fine if we're trading like this, but it's not fine if Germany just doesn't give a shit or just gives a very light shit. Germany is down to 37,000 fighters. Doesn't really mean much, does it? Another, hopefully, final push for France because this is not fun, but I just need something before America falls. Like, look at this. Just, we can just walk in here. The entire front is unmanned and also unwomaned. And I guess it's Germany, so unchilded as well. Although, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Just a few millimeters and then um, France falls. 151 divisions on Vichy France. Even though you capped. I have no idea what just happened. Ah, oh, this entire front is dead. These are also encircled. We don't have AA anymore. Fucking fuck. God. Okay, guys, you need to go to the front now. All right. I think it's time for Operation Spaghetti. Let's hope this works. Doesn't really look like it worked. Just looks like we're out of supply. Texas is the most important state for us right now. As much as it pains me to say that. <laughs> That's probably enough to give us the oil back. Now we have to ship it back, I think. Yeah, delivery penalty. Fuck. I think that's it then. The only other option is we fall back to the Americas. And I don't really want to do an N6 scenario from North America. I wish I could move my capital, man. There you go. No oil anymore. If I were a sensible person, I would reload now, but I want to actually save this. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to hold France for a little while longer because Germany is not on all adults' screen, I mean, um, barrel yet. We are going to draw a front line. Gonna make sure that we don't take Madrid. We might as well take the river. You know what? I think that sounds fine. Defense guys, they can piss off from France. Don't really need this, 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 this. We do have all of the air bases here. Just get a few more air bases. I guess I'm actually gonna build some dockyards here. It's not great. As it stands right now, this is gonna be a long battle. And then let's research sonar. I'm gonna take all the destroyers. Some of these are semi-convoy escorts. So I am gonna see if we can just reduce the task force to destroyers and the rest can just go here. Germany does have mostly just submarines. Maybe that's gonna help us a little bit with getting some convoys. Although not if we don't have any steel and I can't get steel and the steel is over here. So <laughs> that's a bit of a conundrum. They are on scraping the barrel now, which means the economy is crippled. Now we just have to kind of get these guys out. I guess it works even if they are currently in battle. Why are you shuffling guys, please? This is so stupid. These guys are gonna get encircled. Congratulations, you fucking killed yourselves. Okay, these guys have supply again, which does mean we can recapture Texas. You guys are still training, I'm so sorry. 
One scuff thing is we could technically push again now because we have the oil. So we could just push a little bit and then fall back again, push a little bit. I believe we need the fighters to hold here. That's the problem. Like we need the fighters and the cast to hold here. But because we're not going to make a dent in the German Air Force, I also don't really feel like it's worth it to invest actually having anything over there, you know? Okay, uh, I think it's time for a push that is definitely not at all desperate. Great, now I angered the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> They're sending their planes here. One plane at a time. We're gonna win. One plane at a time. Just don't look at the stockpiles because they're slowly dwindling. Okay, I'm gonna fall back with these guys. There we go. Free loot. If I just zoom out, then I don't see the red bubbles, then everything is fine. I'm just death stacking like the AI right now. <laughs> uh, okay, where's... Not a port, not a port. There is a port. Okay. Oh my god, that's a lot of Italian divisions. Oh, he's a genius, but I am gonna give you the naval maneuver. Probably the most important stat out there. Speed. Let's just try this. Nobody knows how a navy works anyway, so I can just pretend I know what I'm doing with my destroyers. How is Japan out of manpower? I didn't know this was possible in the game. So if we don't use the supply up here, we can also build a naval base. This should work. I just don't want to defend the naval base, man. Fuck it. Supply up it is. Oh god, I just realized. If they ever invade the Panama Canal, we're fucked. I guess we can push into it. I am tempted to just drop some divisions here because, yep, they are gonna expand. And especially if they take a port, this is gonna suck. Okay, maybe. Hold. Okay, this invasion has been defeated. Uh, this one has been defeated. Another one. Ah, deal with that. There we go. Dealt with it. And we have reached El Salvador. But they're not helping. <laughs> they're just in a small little hobbit hole. Come on, Liberia. Now's your chance to expand. Break the shackles of colonialism. Bro, I so want to expand down here. I guess I'm gonna try and put some pressure on here. Oh, how's my... How's Mexico look? Oh, yes. Mexico is pretty much... Read. Now we just need to break through this. I do know a way. Good old fashioned napalm. How are you still attacking? I guess it's just the Italians most likely. No, it's also the Germans. That should be everything though. Like, I don't think you can mobilize more units than these. Maybe compliance? But the German army will not have any Germans anymore. Oh my god, this is amazing right now. Because all of these, all of the convoys are just getting intercepted. Oh, we're out of... Dockyards. Oh, well, we can't build any more dockyards. I guess in our new core, British Malaya. I mean, British Global Defense Council Malaya. Oh, but they are breaking through. Looks like Germany is getting desperate, though. Yeah, they're just throwing the last men that they have away in a last desperate push. Now, it looks like they will actually take the north. This six million should be everything that Hitler has. 30 million Germans, and that is it. There should not be more than this. Oh, China, finally. That does mean you can think about invading Japan, and you also have a very nice landing zone here if you wanted to invade Japan for some reason. Nice, we got a pocket here. All right, I'm gonna... We're gonna shuffle quite a few units around here now. As I said, I wanna drag this out as long as I can. But we have freed America from German rule. I think... I'm gonna call Iberia here. There we go. You've got it. You've won the war. But we can at least stabilize our home now. And then the new world will liberate the old. But I guess we can also start working on Operation Freedom Front. No, you can't go here because there's apparently ships in here. Enemy ships. That's why you cannot move, huh? That's gotta be some very efficient enemy ships. Okay, uh, change of plans. A royal change of plans. I am sorry, Panama. You didn't really bring this upon yourself. But I have to get in there. I can't let Panama be destroyed. I didn't even see that. I can't afford to go to war with China now. China is the only out that we have. And it's not a good out. No, I can't afford that. Come on, land in Greenland. Oh god. We might not be able to take this. God! You're not really- What the fuck? What kind of escort was that? We lost an entire stack just now. Because we can't get into this tile. That's such bullshit. I know I can use naval invasions for it, but we've seen how successful that one is. Panama Canal has been repaired. Nice. And they are sabotaging again. 0% war support. I guess we were nuked too many times. The convoy rating is at least efficient. 
Look at this! We have a surplus of convoys! I thought I'd never see the day again. Just in case, I'm also gonna start producing crack units. Those should be able to push. I'm not gonna build a radar station in Greenland. And I don't feel like defending Greenland. 12 of you are probably enough to take Iceland. All right, I'm gonna see if this works. It might not, because they have crappy org right now. Plus, they are already in battle. I guess we can invest a bit more into NAV bombers. There we go. Let's just turn Iceland into an outpost. And let's start an invasion of Liverpool. We have 1,000 convoys. The game is turning around. I guess that's also one way that the British front could look abandoned. Time to get some of our cores back. <laughs> I am gonna train another 90 of those. We draw arrow. We say go. I'm gonna send you lot here. You guys go here. You guys go here. Take hole. Arrow up. Oh fuck, I... Oh, thank god I checked there. Because I would have been very upset that the guys are not actually coming to Britain. Then... Let's start building a few air bases. We have freed one of our homes. Italy has all of the manpower. Germany is pretty much out of it. But Germany still has the fighters or the planes. So we just have to go for a quick strike against Germany and against Italy. It would be perfectly fine if we just take like Veneto and then we hold. Then they'll have the civil war taking stuff and at some point... <laughs> We'll get half of the army. First, we will have to see if we can break through Germany. And then let's get one invasion going into here. And one invasion going into Brunei. Oh god, there's no way we can push through here. Not with these crappy divisions. I, I'm just gonna run with these, I guess. <laughs> and then just try and build a port. Nice! That is you all right then let's send these guys over here i will also drop another stack for defensive purposes again once we've pushed a little bit out of here we can also send more divisions in here and the great part about this there we go oh it's so easy to just encircle the entire army if they're all stacked up here <laughs> yeah He's down to 380. And he's importing from British Malaya? How the fuck are you importing from British Malaya? There's at least a lot of Germans in Germany. No idea how there are any left. Oh god, we can't even press cheat attack. But these are marines, they don't need cheat attack. Uh, they do need cheat attack. Let's see if we can drop just in Wilhelmshaven. Beachhead Boys, my favorite boy band. Oh my god, that's a lot of Germans. First time that this has happened in a while. It is a grindy process, but you can see that the German fighter numbers are falling. And their manpower pool is almost at zero again. That's what I assumed. They have the jet engines. They are much more expensive, but they are insanely good at defending short range. Uh, there's an airport. We might as well nuke that one. Ah, there's just 700 planes there, but still. And there we go, zero planes. Honestly, the only problem is pretty much just... There's two problems right now. The rest of the German Air Force, as well as what Italy has right now. And I can't believe I'm saying this. Italy is the problem right now. <laughs> okay, if I say it like that, then that's always the case. But Italy is a threat right now. There we go. I think that's the first time that anyone has ever said that. I've heard it's a very good time to visit Burma today. Actually, I just nuked my own core territory. <laughs> <laughs> Only 4,000 German fighters left. That pretty much means we only have to do this against Italy. And then the Axis falls. And then we still have to take out China. <laughs> the only thing that's gonna suck is the border. Sorry for keeping you waiting, but I think we can move on. Yeah, Nuke once more for good measure, for good luck. And then everybody just move out. Get a little bit of cars out. You get a little bit of cars, but you share it like good siblings do. And now we just wait for the zones to go green. It's <laughs> 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 just Niederlande. My heart. I was like, whoa, that was quick. <laughs> Germany fell quick this time. Not really quick, if I'm being honest. Record time, 11 hours. French Belgium? Why do you have this flag? You're French Belgium. We legitimately are not getting any... Oh, 0.03. Oh, that is just messed up for the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna suck. We now have to fend off the entire front with Romania, Turkey and Italy, as well as Norway. All right, we also have to hold these places. 
Now I just have to think how do I want to... Actually, I have a very great idea how I want to do this. We have an Asian task force. They can piss off and go to Russia and all that. Oh my god, thank fuck I checked. I was like, okay, our PP gain for a while has been pretty hampered, but I forgot to turn off construction engineering. Probably added another year to this whole game. We do have two fronts now, so this is perfectly legal what i do right now and i have no idea why you're here but i really appreciate it let's just put four divisions here on the alps oh i was just about to celebrate that we broke through vichy france is out it's been so many years home sweet fucking home ironic that you're in iberia right now <laughs> Honestly, just making me so happy right now. <laughs> oh, Mussolini has been deposed. Probably by us. <laughs> I have no idea why we have an Italian puppet. We are anarchists. I feel like a kingdom is the last thing that we would have under us. Oh, Italy is out. Turkey is out. Which does mean, according to the game, after 106 million axes oh no the russian empire and japan japan broke free the fucking italian civil war <laughs> one of my least favorite mechanics strikes again of course japan russia egypt arabia all of africa break free because italy is now a puppet of france puppets don't have pup except for when they do normally puppets don't have puppets in this game so of course all of their puppets break free because italy cut puppets <laughs> why i didn't even want like i i wanted the italian civil war six hours ago i didn't want it now because now i've already won china if you really cared you could just take out Japan. They're super weak right now. <laughs> they only have 69 divisions. God, I'll have to call off Russia. Norway should fall if we just do it on auto. Yep, that's what I get for pushing into Crimea. Actually, they did keep their front. <laughs> There's nothing here. Africa's easy pickings. Although it looks like we might have to island hop. Thanks, China, for taking fucking Nagasaki. Instead, we're gonna take Korea. I am very happy that we have Marines right now, because they have to live without supply for a while. I think the flame tanks are just slowing us down right now. Let's try it again. This time, we're gonna land next to Kyoto. We might take out Russia before we take out Japan. I highly doubt it, simply because of the supply that we're gonna suffer from, but so far, we've just been walking relatively unharmed. It was a pleasant stroll almost. We are landing in Japan. It's about time. I will send... Of course I can't! I don't have naval superiority! Cool. Japan is out. Right. Next naval invasion. Vladivostok. We're not gonna have PP for a while. At least it doesn't go into the negative. I swear to fuck! If Chile is a major now, how often are you gonna change your mind? We're invading Mongolia right now. And it's all thanks to the Italian Civil War. The Russians capped and Paraguay joins the Axis. But it matters not because we have to take out Chile. All right, another naval invasion. We can actually go to Sakhalin. What a surprise, I thought there were enemy boats there. And I want to, oh, come on. I'm here for Chile, not for Peru. It's a fucking line. How did you fuck that up? All right, time for RSI because I need to annex a lot of nations now. At least I don't have to contest anybody. France ran out of ideas for their ship names, so they just gave up. Yes, free land for me. Come, taste my power. My strategy for China, just build a fucking supply hub in every single border province. We're gonna use them as trenches. It's gonna be the only way for someone to spot China on the map. The supply hubs in Asia, they are gonna be the way to find out where China lies. Lu was. I just wanted to shoot those divisions, but we're not allowed to because it's haha -ha Italy. Haha, haha, haha. -ha. Uh -huh, you cannot touch my camicinere. You are far too weak. Anarchist council, you would never shoot anyone. Especially not divisions made by your enemy that are now your allies. Because a kingdom split off and we just decided that we are now subservient to the anarchists even though we're a kingdom. I... 
whoever's making decisions at Paradox, I'm gonna bring them a wet towel one day. I have so much work to do. It's 1965! No, no shot at the AI. Try to boost fascism in China. Because otherwise I don't know how China got fascist support. Churchill, where the fuck are you? Who left Churchill alive? And why did I only find out about it now? Oh, okay, in the Pitcairn Islands, of course. Argentina, I feel like this is something you could have dealt with instead of getting five war goals against me. Panamanian attempts to sabotage Panama. Oh no! Argentina, can you stop, please? Just declare war on me. You're just wasting PP and war support. Who actually, that's the first time that I'm in South America after TOA. It's as miserable as ever. 26,000 and it just doesn't matter. Oh god, that is not good for my PC. That is the first time that Hearts of Iron has lagged with my new PC. Okay, no, that's too many planes. That is too many planes. Oh god, I can't even delete my planes fast. What? I just created a wormhole of planes. They're just appearing. Okay, Iraq, come on. You made me do this. That's just victim blaming at this point. I'm gonna new Baghdad as often as it takes for us to break through here. All right, America. Next time, good tip. Just nuke Baghdad three times. That's enough. This took way too long for Iraq. And I can't even take your stupid boats. God! Fighting in South America is worse than before. I didn't think this was possible. Why are there five billion impassable terrains now? Yes, that's China dealt with. I wish there was a shortcut for nuking. Such a weird problem to have. But it's late game Hoi 4. Brazil is out of manpower. I wonder how that happened. The Brazil ran out of manpower. They must have pushed horribly. Yeah, the front is not getting better. That's for Paradox Interactive Sweden. And I only see myself. I guess this is gonna be my life for the next few days. I could also just cheat myself some PP, but that is boring. I'm a man of the people. There we go. We have caught every single province that we can. Please just go and watch this video where I played Equestria at War, the greatest Hearts of Iron format, where you don't have to spend 100 years waiting for your challenge to finish.